Hey guys, it's me Farhan from Theon Studios and welcome to episode 3 of our tutorial Sunday series. You know what's common in motion graphics? Yep, shape layers. Today I'll show you everything you need to know about them in After Effects, how to create, animate and add some cool effects over it. This is episode 3, how to master shape layers in After Effects. Let's get started. <laughs> But before we dive in, here are some keybinds to keep in mind. These shortcuts will make your workflow faster and easier, so take notes of them, they'll be essential throughout the tutorial. So what exactly are shape layers? Well, in After Effects, shape layers are vector based objects that you can create directly inside your composition. They are super flexible because you can scale them up or down without losing any quality unlike rasterized images. Shape layers are perfect for creating simple or complex graphics and they are a foundational tool in motion design. Whether you're making icons, patterns or complex animations, you'll be using shape layers a lot. And because they're vector based, they work great for crisp, clean animations. Topic 1. Creating Shape Layers To start, select your shape tool, rectangle, ellipse, polygon or star and drag on your comp to create a shape. You can tweak the fill, stroke or stroke width here in the top bar and quick tip, hold shift while dragging for perfect shapes like a circle or square. Topic 2. Transform Properties Each shape layer has its own transform properties. Position, scale, rotation and opacity. You can animate your shapes by setting keyframes, tweaking the values over time. I'm still sitting down, open on my laptop, can't talk down. And there you go, instant animation. And now for the fun part, shape operators. These let you transform basic shapes into complex animations. To access them, click the add button next to your shape layers in the timeline. You'll find options like trim paths, wiggle paths, zigzag and more. Now let's look at the repeater. It duplicates your shape multiple times. You can adjust copies, position, rotation and scale to space out the copies, rotate them or change their size. For example, rotating the repeater creates a circular pattern and animating it adds dynamic movement. You can animate the repeater too. Set keyframes for copies or rotation and watch your shapes multiply or rotate over time. Don't forget to add easy ease by hitting F9 to smooth out the animation for a professional touch. Besides repeater, check out trim paths for stroke animation or wiggle paths for wavy distortions. Mix and match this to create unique effects. Topic 4. Layer styles and blending modes. Layer styles add extra depth to your shapes. Right click the layer, go to layer styles and try a drop shadow or glow or anything you have in there. Plus, blending mode lets you combine shapes creatively when they overlap. Experiment with this for cool visual effects and honestly, there are many ways to use them to make them look unique and beautiful. Topic 5. Masking and Boolean Operations Boolean operations or path operations let you combine shapes in interesting ways. Think of it as math for shape layers. You're adding, subtracting or cutting shapes to form new designs and here's how it works. We have add, subtract, intersect and exclude. Add. This combines two shapes into one. So if you have a circle and a square, add will merge them into a single shape. Subtract. This removes one shape from another. For example, if you place a circle on top of a square and you subtract, it will punch a hole in the square where the circle is. Intersect. This keeps only the overlapping area of two shapes. If your circle and square overlap, intersect will leave just the part they share. Exclude. This does the opposite of intersect. It removes the overlapping area, leaving the non-overlapping parts. And to access these, just select your shape layers, go to the shape properties and look for the merge path option under the add button. Once you choose a boolean operation, you'll see the effects instantly. Boolean operations are great for creating complex logos or designs that involve cutting and combining shapes. And that's it. Shape layers are key to motion graphics and with a little bit of practice, you can create stunning animations and this is where the tutorial or the guide ends. Keep experimenting, keep creating and most importantly, have fun with it. And this is me, Farhan, signing out. Goodbye. And if you're watching this till the end, 
I have two other tutorials I did earlier, you can go watch them as well and make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, it's the end. Okay.